Hi, I'm Samar Swarup. I work at the Network Dynamics and Simulation Science Lab at VBI, and this is part of the Advanced Computing Informatics Lab division. I'm working on a number of projects related to the use of synthetic information. Uh, we use synthetic information to build tools that allow large-scale social simulation. There are several applications to my research. One of the uh, most interesting ones is something that we've been working on as an entire lab. Uh, it, ha it has to do with disaster response or resilience. So when there's a, a large-scale disaster like Hurricane Sandy or a polar vortex or a terrorist attack, it affects not just the population of the region, but it also affects infrastructures. For example, the power goes out, the cell phone network is affected, the healthcare system is affected. And what happens in the aftermath of the disaster is a complex interaction, feedback loops between population behavior, human behavior, and infrastructures. So for example, if everybody tries to evacuate in a particular direction, it will create congestion on the roads. Congestion on the roads may lead to overloading of cell phone base stations, so cell phone calls can't get through. That in turn modifies people's behavior because they're not able to get in touch with their families, for example. Disaster response itself is a very complex process. And the real effort should be, in my mind, and is, to try to channel people's natural instincts in ways that can help them. So people want to seek out their family members, right? They want to find them, but they also want to know that uh, they're all right. Or if they're not, then they want to go and help them. Uh, in certain situations, this can have a, a very negative consequence because, for example, if there is radiation from, a, from an explosion, if it's a nuclear explosion, there might be radiation. Then if people are out and about and looking for their family members, they will actually be exposed to radiation and will have worse health outcomes. Whereas if we were able to restore communication rapidly, we would be able to enable people to get in touch with their family members, know that they're all right, learn about what has happened, and seek shelter perhaps. So this is a way in which we could channel people's natural instincts to find their family by enabling them to get in touch with them and thereby uh, improve outcomes, right? So applications of the work we're doing are uh, in some ways very immediate. They, they are meant to help people plan for uh, disasters that can happen without notice, which require a strong coordinated systemic response and uh, uh, hopefully will lead to better outcomes.